Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I'm a bit of head cold, so this may be the fastest video I'm ever gonna do. Let's get right to it. Yes, the Toyota Tundra is gonna have a capstone trim. It's gonna be their highest trim level. It's gonna compete with like the Ford Limited or the Laramie Longhorn Limited or the GMC Denali, whatever the premium trucks are these days. Uh, it looks, it looks kind of good. I, I'm not a huge fan of Chrome, but this doesn't look, look too bad. Let's go ahead and play the video on the screen. You can see the capstone name lettering there. This will be the top trim possible. This is it. This is as high as it goes. So we have, uh, according to my press release, we have unique grille, features a color keyed outer frame and chrome inner mesh pattern. These are 22 inch wheels. 22 inch chrome wheels come standard. Um, the Tundra and the tailgate insert is chrome as well. I'm waiting for the video to get around it. There you can see the, this is the white color. Um, I want to say there are a few different color options that I saw, but we'll see more of this. What were the color options? Gee, Merry Christmas. Uh, wind chill pearl, which is what this is, magnetic gray, metallic, celestial, silver metallic, midnight black metallic, supersonic red, and blueprint. No, I don't have pricing. There's no pricing announced. I'm guessing at least 80,000. I mean, the way the pricing is going. You can see that unique grill, right? And so we have, it's gonna be the standard iForce Max powertrain. The hybrid will be offered in this 437 horsepower, 583 foot pounds of God loving torque. Uh, it's basically everything is standard features, right? So you have standard running boards, you have a standard bed step, you have a standard 10 inch color heads up display. Your te toy technology package is included in this truck. You can see the interior. Everything you see is standard. The the moon roof is standard, the, the interior is that two-tone to it, so it's like a cream with a black. This is exclusive only to the capstone trim. You cannot get the other trim. It's a uh, authentic dark American walnut with an open pore finish, highlights the wood grain on the dash. The walnut inlay surrounds a capstone logo which illuminates when the doors are opened. Okay, that's standard. Uh, there are leather trimmed heating steering wheel and 12.3 inch large information display behind the driver. It's got that same interior, the leather trimmed soft text. That's what they're doing these days. Leather trim soft text. You do get the adaptable variable suspension. That's standard. Um, it's only a one body configuration. You get the five and a half foot bed with a crew cab. That's the only thing optional. It's not optional. The only thing, well, guess what? It's standard. Can I say this enough? It's standard. It's riding on 22s, 10,340 pounds of towing. Uh, this is hilarious. The payload rating is 1,485 pound, pounds. That's maximum payload because everything is standard. <laughs> uh, you have the uh, tow haul mode. You also get, this is kind of cool, you get a Sport S, Sport S Plus, and there's a custom mode that works with the available load leveling rear height control air suspension. Yeah, so you can use the Sport or Plus with the iForce Max, makes use of electronic motors instantaneous response. With electric motor, it does the bulk of the work at lower speeds, only once above 18 miles per hour, the gasoline engine kicks in. Primary control. When you're in high, when you're in tow haul mode, the iForce Max system is constantly in tandem operation to provide impressive acceleration and torque for towing needs. There's also standard, all of the cameras. You get all the camera stuff, technology, towing technology, the trailer backup assistance, the straight path assist feature, which I need to try that more and more. The available 360 degree camera is standard. Blind spot monitoring is standard. Toyota safety sense is all standard. That's the dynamic radar controls, lane tracing assist, the departure alert, the rear crop traffic alert, pre-collision system, automatic high beams, all that stuff is standard. Plus the uh, sees the sign, tells you the sign, rear seat reminder is standard. Um, that, 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 yep, it's all standard. So there you go. So what do I know? I know there's a new capstone trim. I know it's the highest trim level. I do not know fuel economy. I do not know price. My guess is $80,000. My guess on fuel economy is a couple better city. Um, so probably in the low 20s would be my guess for highway and combined. And uh, yeah. yeah, oh, on sale. On sale to spring. When all the rest of the hybrids come out. So I'm hoping to see it in person in a couple weeks. But yeah, that's the details on the 2022 Toyota Tundra capstone. Nice, simple, sweet, to the point for you because I'm gonna go take some more cold medicine. Watch other videos over here. I have the Tundra Limited right now. Whole host of videos probably gonna show up over there. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Oh yeah, and it's standard.